So hey, this is David with the Shepherd School, and uh, I'm going to do a video that's not sort of like my normal videos. This isn't a, a trading video or a how-to video. I'm not even really a gun review video, but I found an interesting gun. And uh, a few months ago, my grandfather passed away. And going through his estate, you know, my uncle found a bowling ball bag full of pistols. And being the resident gun guy of the family, you know, the duty fell to me to kind of look at the guns and clean them up a little bit and see what was going on. And uh, found this interesting pistol. And uh, looking at it, it says uh, Colt Manufacturing um, Government or Model of 1911 U.S. Army, right? And so I'm thinking we've got a 1911, um, you know, 45. But then we found the Ziploc bag, and it's got a completely different manufacturer's slide uh, and a whole bunch of different magazines, right? And after doing a little bit of research into it, this is actually a Yama um, gun, Lama, L-L-A-N-A. -A. And uh, Yama has a unfortunate reputation of not being very high quality. But with this particular gun, they started making it in 1931, I believe to um, kind of dispel their um, reputation of being the Celtic of, of uh, today, right? And so this gun, basically they, they took Colt's uh, patent and some tooling and made this gun that basically is, is all the parts are interchangeable except for the grip panels. They have some, some different grip panels. And so while this is a Yama frame, right, chambered in, 38, which when they say uh, 38, they mean actually like 9 millimeter Largo, but it's also 38 Special and 38 ACP. So uh, supposedly this slide can fire several different rounds because it has what they call a tolerant chamber. Um, I've heard, I've read that really it's not really designed for 38 Super, but most people shoot 38 Super in it. I've shot some 38 Super in it and it works fine. But um, I like keeping the 45 um, slide on it because, you know, if you've got a 45, why don't you carry a 45, right? So uh, pretty interesting gun, um, you know, nice piece of history. I kind of wonder, you know, where Grandpa got the government-issued um, slide off the front of it. and. Um, Besides it being my grandfather's, it also uh, has some family history to it, you know, and my dad would probably be embarrassed for me telling you this, but uh, he was a deputy in one of the uh, uh, Middle Tennessee counties when he got out of the Marines. And, uh, you know, I'm just a little kid, and uh, he got hired as a deputy. Basically, he had uh, uh, transportation duties this one day, going from court back to the jail, and uh, this guy just got a life sentence, right? So dad's taking this guy, you know, from jail or from the courthouse to jail. And the guy knows he's never going to see the light of day again. And my grandpa loaded my dad this in a little 25. And he, dad had this as a backup gun under the seat of his car. Now we're talking, you know, early 80s. And they didn't have all the high tech uh, dividers and such in, in patrol cars like they do today. And so... You know, as he's taken off, this, this uh, gun slides from behind the seat back into the passenger, you know, uh, side of the car. And so Dad knows he's got this 45 pistol at the feet of this, of this uh, convict. The convict knows he's never going to see the light of day again, and he sees this pistol down at his feet. And Dad said uh, it was a couple of uh, tenths miles, you know, as he's driving. You know, keeping his hands on the wheel, keeping his hand on his gun, looking at the at the um, you know rearview mirror, because obviously he can't stop and get out, because as he stops and he gets out the car, you know, dude's got a chance to go for the gun. So uh, Dad said he didn't uh, breathe until he got to the jail, and there were other people there that could uh, you know um, get in there and help. So anyway, it, kind of a stupid story, but uh, you know. I, I think this is a pretty cool gun, and uh, I'm really proud that I had the opportunity to, to look at it, and maybe you'll find that interesting. But anyway, here's a Yama 38 Super Slide 
on a uh, or frame on a 45 caliber Colt government um, slide. So anyway, there you go. And until next time, you can always get to our line www.tndone.com.